All right, we are on our angle addition worksheet and we are working out number nine. Um, we have got angle PQS, angle PQS, and you've got a couple options. You can go over and you can label your angle like this. PQS is X squared minus five. Or if you don't want to draw on your picture since you have to use that picture multiple times, you can just make, I put a W for, that's the whole. I make a note, hey, this is the whole thing. All right. Angle PQR is 45, or you could put a P for part as you're going along. And then angle RQS is 5X. Once again, I could put a P for part if I don't want to mark on my picture. So the equation that we're going to use, this is not found in your textbook, but it's what I talk about in class. Part plus part equals whole. That's just the angle addition postulate. It's just a different way of putting it. So I'm going to say one of my parts, 5x, plus my other part, 45, equals my whole. And lo and behold, we have another quadratic. You see these a lot. The only way, one of the only ways to solve a quadratic is by factoring. And I can tell I'm going to have to factor this one because I've got an x squared and I've got an x term. And so I know I'm going to have to factor. The first step in factoring is get everything over to one side of the equation. So I'm going to move it all over to the right. So I'm going to have 0 equals x squared minus 5x minus 50. What I did was I brought these two guys over by subtracting them from both sides. All right, so now we have to factor this guy. 0 equals and I'm going to open up my parentheses. Now we're in luck. This one does not have a leading coefficient, so I know for sure that an x goes here and an x goes here. Now is when you go off to the side and you brainstorm factors of 50. Okay, the most obvious to me is 5 and 10. We've got 25 and 2. We'll stop there and see if we can use those. So we're trying to find numbers that I can combine by adding or subtracting to get a negative 5. We need to make a negative 5. So can I use 25 and 2? Can I add or subtract those and get negative 5? No. So those are not the lucky winners. Can I use a 5 and a 10? Yes. So if I want to make a negative 5, would I do 5 minus 10 or 10 minus 5? I'm definitely going to want to do 5 minus 10. Then go back in there and put a plus sign so that you know your 5 is positive. All right, um, the last step to solving a factoring problem, how to get x, is to set them both equal to 0. So 0 equals x plus 5. Negative 5 equals x. 0 equals x minus 10. Add 10 to both sides. 10 equals x. So we've got two answers x equals 10 and x equals negative 5. We're not going to stop there because we have to make sure we have to see if those answers are valid. So let's plug them in. What are we looking for? We're looking for angle PQS. So let's work with the positive one first. We've got 10. PQS is the whole angle. I'm going to plug 10 in here. 10 squared is 100 minus 5. So 10 squared is 100, 100 minus 5, that makes that a 95 degree angle. So I've used one of my values of x. Now I'm going to use my other one, negative 5. Now here's the thing, if I plug negative 5 into there, it's going to be a good answer, a positive answer, because I'm going to square it. But be careful, negative 5 is not a valid answer because it does not work everywhere. What if I were to plug negative 5 into here? What's 5 times negative 5? Negative 25. Are you allowed to have a negative angle in this class? No. So because this answer is not valid, it does not make sense when I plug it into that angle, to angle RQS, I have to throw that answer out. X equals 10 is my only answer, and so the answer to our problem, angle PQS, is 95.